What's going on guys? The Inhuman Beatdown. I'm back with more Honey Pop. Uh, last time we met the first girl, Yana. I don't fucking remember. Anyways, we went on our first date. It was a success. All fun times, happiness, rainbows. Yeah. And so now our stalker 5.0 has followed the other chick that was here. Knock him dead out there. No comment. <laughs> Alright. Oh, Miss Yumi. I'm glad I ran into you. Have you had a chance to grade our exams yet? Uh, remind me what that was on again? You know, the conservation of whatever you call it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think those are on my desk. Somewhere. Oh, okay. Do you know when you might be able to get them back to us? Later. Next week, probably. I'm sure you did fine, Tiffany. You think? I hope so. I don't know, I was having trouble with some of the material. Do you know what we're going over next week? I'd like to try and get a head start this time. Next week? I don't know yet. Actually, I have a pounding headache right now. Can we do this later, please? Yeah, okay. Sorry to bother you, Miss Yumi. No, it's fine. I'll talk to you later. NERD! Whoa, is this chick serious? That schoolgirl uniform is a little on the nose, don't you think? She's cute though. Blonde too, so uh, bonus points. This is your classic girl next door situation. She's nice, so don't say anything to scare her off. But don't be afraid to take a chance. Okay, let me get this straight. So she's supposed to be like the nerdy type of girl, clearly, because I don't know anyone else that goes up to their professor and says, Oh, hey, what are we studying next week? I want to get ahead of it. But at the same time, she doesn't know how to fucking button the rest of her shirt? It's like these characters they're trying to paint as like, Oh, cool, diverse and everything, but it's like, there's so much contradictory stuff I could just pull from it that none of it makes any fucking sense. So, clearly this, this chick would know where shit is on the campus, so it's, it's, you know where I can find the student union. I sure do. I know this place inside and out. You go past the building here and take a left at the fountain. You can't miss it. I haven't seen you around here before. Are you starting this semester? <laughs> I teach here. Professor Hanson, they call me. Now I'm thinking about it. Would you recommend this school? Of course. This place is awesome. My professors are the best. Said no teacher or no student ever. If I end up going here, you'll have to show me around. Yeah, I'd love that. It's really a beautiful campus, too. My name is Tiffany, by the way. It's nice to meet you. You seem like a cool guy. Hopefully I'll see you around campus. Yay, we met Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany, ac 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 academ academy? Ac academics, I'll just say that. Cheerleader. So from that alone, I can assume she's a cheerleader. So, she's a nerd and a cheerleader. I won't say that's an impossible combination, but in the realm of anime stereotypes, that does not exist. Sorry. Alright. Whatever. So anyways, the unique items we can actually give them to increase the amount of honey we receive when talking to them. So we'll buy that. Chocolate. Okay, that's about all I can afford. Actually, I can't afford a gift, so I'll give her... Eh, be bracelet. First gift this to her. Oh, adorable. That way we can gonna make my uniform max so much cuter. That way we can maximize the amount of honey that we receive. Yes, Audrey is gonna be so jealous. <laughs> and now let's just talk to her. What do you want to know about me? <laughs> Cup size! Rule number three, fellas. <laughs> You must know, I'm a C-Cup. Something on your mind? 
Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, what's your main hobby? I really enjoy cheerleading. I've never missed a practice. Nerd and cheerleader. And blonde. This combination, just, there's just something not right about it to me. What do you want to know about me? Uh, last name. It's cool. My last name is May. Tiffany May. Cool. Here's some chocolate. I'm so bad, I know. I have a sweet tooth. So, I've been curious what you think about this. If you had to pick one, what do you think your biggest weakness is? Oh, God. Oh, God, I don't actually know. Connection with someone. Pretty insecure about my relationship. It's probably not the middle one, so... Bombs away. You? Nah. What would you have to be insecure about? Yay, I'm Smarticles. So you want to go on a date? We just met like five. Hey, I just met you and this is crazy. We're going on a date. Shut the fuck up. I guess I've got some time. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, I'm going to ditch class to go date this man I just met. Oh, God. Well, I guess I'm not really a man. I guess I'm kind of like a middle-aged dude. The market. I what assume they're idea. all 18 or over, fun. so it's not that bad. Still. What does she prefer? She likes flirtation, does not like sexuality. What's flirtation again? Green. Okay. First things first. And that's how I triple down. Drop that right there. Let's get some affection going so I can get bonus points. Flirtation. Okay, so I'm supposed to believe that she is a nerdy cheerleader with blonde hair that also incredibly likes flirting with people. If, like, her gem or, like, her preference of whatever can be taken into effect with this. I am not buying anything about this. This is ridiculous. Oh wait, no. Aha! Flirtation! Score. Put some joy right there. Combo. Down for extra points. Alright, here we go. Some sentiment right there. And here we go, Merry Christmas. A killer combo! Right. Oh no, this can't be passed up. Super combo! Also, sometimes when you combine uh, three or more together, well, much rarer with four or five, you get what's called a power token. These are actually, these will give you much more points when you combine them together. Why I mix that up. Alright, this is basically ours to lose. And let's see. <laughs> Where do I want the finishing note to be? Just use this one. There we go. But you'll notice it did increase. It went from 120 to 150, so it does increase every time you have a successful that date. Was do it again. Just something to keep note of. I'm glad we went to the farmer's market. It's such a romantic time. Yeah, and I've got a text. Make you a deal. Every time you give a girl a gift that she loves, I'll have one of our interns send you a present too. Something you can use on dates. I'm such a nice person. Yeah, I'll do that. So basically, every time we give them a something that they really enjoy, which will be marked by a heart, 
we'll get a gift, which is basically how we earn gifts because we can't actually buy them. So, date's over. We'll talk to her one more time. Uh, how old are you? Me? I'm 20 years old. Mm-hmm. Lovely. All right. And we'll finish up by increasing our traits. Probably. Passion. And... Sexuality? I don't know. There we go. Uh, this one actually went by pretty quickly. Um, yeah, I guess we can just move on to the next girl. Stalker, f stalker find, stalker finder 2.0. Let's head to the park. Shit, apparently. is it that time already? Oops. Girl next door, my ass. Oh, hey, Belly. What's wrong? Seems like something's bothering you. Yeah, life. <laughs> How are classes going? Uh, I don't want to talk about that. Mm, well, I think I have just the thing. I'm headed to the beach to work in a few poses. You should join me. Nothing like a little exercise to melt that stress away. Uh, not today. I'm just not feeling it. Will I at least be seeing you this weekend at the studio? I'll be there. I don't think I have anything else going on for once. Great, can't wait. See you there. Dude, bro, Asian chicks don't even get me started. I have like the worst case of yellow fever <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever, like a yellow plague. Oh God, that is incredibly racist. This is a tough approach. She's kind of in a shitty mood, so say something stupid to try and cheer her up. It doesn't matter what. The stupider, the better. Well. Well. I don't think I'm going to be able to top that up. Uh, that was probably the most racist thing I've heard in this game so far. So, uh, funny how life is pointless and nothing matters. <laughs> I ask myself the same thing all the time. That is depressing. Uh, uh, I just like to bother people who look like they will be left alone. Well, mission accomplished. Good work. I'm just trying to relax. Enjoy a little downtime between classes. I teach up at UOG. You know the place? It's like the only university in the city for some reason. Also, I want to call bullshit. There's no way a teacher would fucking get away with wearing any of this shit. God. I come on, her jeans are ripped. They, they, well, I say jeans, but they're basically just booty shorts. Uh, what do you teach out of curiosity? Well, I'm supposed to be a physics professor. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> I'm glad you came over here. I needed a good laugh. The kids call me Miss Yumi, but you can call me Aiko. Cool. Well, might as well get this out of the way. Uh, here we go. She likes a yo-yo. Uh, we could buy the unique thing for her, but I'm holding off on that because I'm running out of money. Pineapple. There we go. There you go. You stupid jerk. I love it. And because we gave her something she liked, like really liked, we got a gift, which is the hoop earrings. One move for every two broken heart tokens, which is actually pretty good. I'll be adding that to my date gifts. All right. Well, yes. time for this round of questions. Uh, how much do you weigh? Not a bad question to ask any woman on your before a first date. Of course every woman's favorite question. I'm 109, you dick. See, she agrees. It's every woman's favorite question. Mm -hmm. Uh, what do you do for work? I already know the answer to this question, and any smart person who is paying attention should already know the answer to this question, but hey, I'm an idiot. You mean besides the university professor thing? 
It's like, was it really necessary to confirm that? Yes. Guess so. Uh, well, I've asked every other girl this, so. What's your tit size? Wow, how romantic. I'm rockin' these. See? She knows what's down. Follow my simple rules, and I'll get you with the girl of your dreams in no time. I pointed at my webcam knowing full well that's not on. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Anyways, enjoy! Mm, pretty good. Something I can help you with? Uh, let's see, we already asked how much she weighs. How old are you? Why, 21, of course. Nah, I'm fucking with you. I'm 28. It's not that much of a stretch, though. Alright, time for a date. Sure, I suppose you've earned it. <laughs> Asking stupid questions, you've earned it. Yes! I've only played this a couple times, so try not to kill me, okay? No promises. I will utterly destroy you. Alright, what is she like? She prefers sexuality. And of course, there's a fuck ton of talent everywhere. Oh my goddamn life. Mix that one together. Alright. Let's take this approach. There we go. Mm, let's see. Ah, here we go. Those. That. Everybody do the Mario. Uh, let's see. Ah, drop it. Yeah. Combo. Or, yes. Ultimate combo. It wasn't really, but I can hope and dream. Ah, here we go. Perfect. Oh, whoa. Oh. You almost got me there. Actually, now is a good time. We get one move for every two broken hearts. So that's one, two, four, five, six. Okay, we'll get three. Beautiful. Uh, regrettably, the broken hearts don't go away. But it did give me some extra turns to build some more sentiment to do this. Mr. Moneybags over here. Nice. And I can get rid of those without fear now. Also, I'll receive more points. So, it was well worth it in the long run. Monster Combo! Okay. Don't worry, I know what the bitch is like. Bitches like being called bitches. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Oh boy, one point. Oh, where am I ever gonna find just one point? Done. <laughs> oh no, I need more than one point. Okay. Clearly this isn't your first time around the block. No, I had experience with two other people before this. Fun story, actually. Uh, met them randomly, too, and just was like, Yo, you want a date? Yay. Cool. Alright, so uh, this is a good place to step to. Uh, we still have, actually, quite a few girls to go through. But I am plowing through their dates. But I'm shh, rather fast. So that's always good. Anyways, until next time, guys. I'll catch you all later. Asta. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Honey Pop. If you've liked this episode, for whatever crazy reason, be sure to leave it a like and share it with all of your friends. Don't actually stop the spread of this game. Anyways, now I'm going to go continue playing Bejeweled to get in ladies' pants. That's how dating works. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you all later. Asta.